Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Devaraj and yeah, welcome back to this series on bioenergetics. Today, like number 60, we're looking at opening up or opening up further or using another exercise essentially to keep opening the throat and to keep opening down here at the gut level. You know, there is a kind of channel, you know, maybe, yeah, there's a channel in reality, you know, between the belly and the throat, of course, you know, the esophagus, but also on an energetic level, it's a big, big channel. You know, and when you can get both these centers open and this, this sense of there being a channel, you know, you feel good in life, you feel very outgoing. You feel like, hey, I've got a right to put my position out, my opinion out. The reality is that for 99.9% .9 of people living on this planet, they're very locked at the throat. We're closed here, we're closed physically, but also kind of emotionally, energetically. You know, it's like in the old uh, system of chakras from esoteric philosophies, the throat is usually the governor. It's usually the area where a res slight restriction at the throat causes a much bigger restriction all the way up and down the central channel. And the opening of the throat creates more energy. So the throat is a massively important area in our, in our psychological energetic anatomy. And like I say, most people have got the throat closed. Even if you're not remotely interested in chakras, in energy systems, in all this stuff, if you want to go out in the world and be successful, you have to have your throat open. There's no other choice. There's no other choice. And once you knuckle down to getting it open and you say, hey, I'm going to do it, then of course you are going to be several steps above the rest of the crowd. Not to encourage competitiveness, but just to put the fact out there. Uh, once again, like the last exercise, you know, it's, in, it's quite intense work this and if you feel like it's a bit much for you, you know, don't beat yourself up. Don't go around doing that shit. It's an indulgence. You just sit down, be rational. Okay, this is a little bit much for me right now. I need to do it for a bit of a shorter time frame or, you know, do it without the, go back to the bow and arch because what we're doing today, in fact, is a modification of the bow and arch but with some content to open up the throat more and open up down here in the gut a bit more. Okay, so let's get to the exercises. Essentially, it is the bow and arch, but we're gonna add a wide mouth to the bow position. And then when we're down in the arch, we're gonna really breathe through the mouth down, engaging with the belly, engaging with the belly. It's an intense couple of exercises. I recommend you start with like a 90 second ding. If you don't have ding tracks yet, look for an app you can put on your phone. Or if you go to my website, Devaraj Org UK, you can download ding tracks. It's, it's, it's somewhere in the site, it's pretty visible. And what you can do is play those ding tracks on an MP3 player. If you use your phone, I use Rocket Player because you can play that in the background. So in the morning when I'm doing my bioenergetics, I can have a ding track running and another music track running in the background. It's nice. Okay, that's a little bit of extra information there. Let's get to the postures. Okay, so the bow posture, let's go back and just remind ourselves of the bow posture. Basically, the way I teach it is feet flat on the floor, pelvis forwards, arms up, arms back. Stick your chest out like you're really an alpha, meaning the world. But keep your head upright. You can also be taught with your head pointing upwards, but keep your neck upright so your gaze is dead level. This is important the way I'm teaching it. Stretch out and in this variation, what we're gonna do is open our mouth wide. Like, ah, 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 ah. What's really important with this is you really maintain those elements of the bow posture pelvis forwards, chest out, arms up and back and straight, but you also really stretch your mouth open wide. When I'm teaching this exercise, I often see people, they kind of start out wide and you can see they kind of let it go. They're not focusing on the mouth. You need to focus on your body, focus on the mouth. Imagine you're like a teenager and you're just about to eat your first triple burger, you know, and you want to get it all in in one go. Triple veggie burger if you're a, if you're a vegetarian. So you need to keep stretching your mouth open. What you'll notice after about 30 seconds or a minute or maybe less, you know, is that it becomes quite intense. And if you're too much in your mind, your mouth will start to close. 
But if you really focus on your mouth and stretching it open wide, 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 something will start to shift. Your feelers shift. This jaw stretch opens up the back muscles of the muscles at the back of the neck as well. So it's a very powerful posture. You really need to focus on keeping that mouth stretched wide open until the ding and maintaining the rest of those postures with the bow. Okay, so let's just look again from a side angle. So I'll come back a little bit so you can see the rest of my body. If you're watching closely, you see just in the middle there, I spaced out for a couple of seconds and my jaw closed a little bit. And then I, I reminded myself, shit, I need to open my mouth wide open. Okay, so that's the bow posture, the variation, the wide mouth bow, basically. And when the Dean goes, you just come straight back into arch position. This time, we'll do, let's just look at the arch position as it normally is. Standing your feet a bit quite close together, closer than shoulder width apart. Your head starts to move off, chin drops to the chest. You hang forwards, keeping your eyes open. Then you hang. So your fingertips are just off the floor. Even if you're super flexible, come up a little bit. And then you, you bring your tailbone up so your knees are just a little bit of flex left in the knees, but you're not like this. Your knees are nearly straight. You have your neck loose, give it a jiggle. You have your shoulders loose, give your arms a jiggle. And you lean a little bit forwards on so your weight is more towards the toes. Then in this posture, like I'm doing, you start to breathe deep down into your belly, through the mouth, eyes open. So. goes, you come up slow, the head comes up last, and you go straight back into the bow. Okay, so it's good to start on like a one minute or one and a half minute ding, and really go for it. And you can, you can if it's, that's quite easy, or you've done it a few times and it's, and it's getting easier, then increase the, length, increase the length of time. Three reps is good to start, so that means that means you can start with the bow. You can also start with the arch, but you can start, it doesn't really matter. Start with a wide mouth bow for one ding, and then down for one ding, back up for one ding, down for one ding, back up for one ding, down for one ding. That's three reps as we're counting them. When you get up to two, three minutes quite comfortably and you've really got the stretch going and the deep breathing going in the, in the arch, you can increase the length of time more or you can increase the number of reps. Once your body starts to get open, generally increasing the number of reps creates more change and increasing the length of time. But with the bow and the arch, because it's opening up so many areas of the lower back and the backs of the legs, it's also valuable to work at higher time frames as well. Okay guys, I don't think there's much else I need to say. Give this exercise a try. Remember, if it is a bit much for you and it's a bit too much, just go back and don't beat yourself up. Don't do that stuff. You're a leader. Leaders don't beat themselves up. Remember, I've got the Bioenergetic Online Training Academy coming in a few months' time. I'm just getting it set up and the, the curriculum. It'll be some written exercises, stuff you have to learn, stuff about holding space, exercises you need to do. And a group sharing we'll have monthly and group tuition. It's just to give you a little bit of a insight or you know a little bit of a information about it. But if you're turned on to this for Bioenergetic Online Training Academy, BOTA, it's gonna be coming in a few months time, so get ready. Online subscriptions monthly, basically. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you have a good time with this exercise. Feel free to comment, let me know how you get on, anything you notice about yourself, anything that needs, you know, needs to be commented, that's really, really helpful. And I will speak to you later. And remember, of course, keep doing the bio. Keep doing the bio. As you get more energy in your belly, you realize it doesn't matter what your mind thinks about it, you just keep doing it and your life gets better. Okay, speak to you later, over and out.